Hello dear students I welcome you all to the discussion on the quick solution of the All India Cash Test Series Medical 2021 This test is for the 2 year medical program and this was conducted on 29th of December 2019 We would be discussing the test number 4 specifically the code C and D So let us proceed to the first question of the test The first question says A particle is moving along a circle of radius 50 cm with a linear velocity of 4 m per second. The angular velocity of the particle is Dear students, in a circle, the linear velocity v is equal to omega into r, where omega is the angular velocity and r is the radius of the circle. Now dear students, in the equation it is given that radius is equal to 50 cm which can also be written as 0.5 meters v has been given to us to be equal to 4 meters per second now from this equation we can write that omega is equal to v by r that is 4 divided by 0.5 that will be equal to 8 radians per second and has the correct answer for this question is option number 3 let us proceed to the question number 2 question number 2 says a force 2i cap minus 4j cap minus k cap newton acts on a particle having position vector 2i cap plus 4k cap meters the torque acting on the particle about origin would be dear students the torque can be written to be equal to r cross f where f is the force and r is the position vector of the point at which the force is acting therefore dear students we have to calculate the cross product of position vector with the force we can use the matrix method to calculate the cross product let us write down i cap j cap and k cap and now let us write down the coefficients of i cap k cap and j cap in the both vectors in the first vector that is the position vector i cap has a coefficient 2 j cap has a coefficient 0 and k cap has a coefficient 4 while in the force vector i cap has a coefficient 2 j cap has a coefficient -4 and k cap has a coefficient -1 this can be written to be equal to i cap multiplied by 16 minus j cap Minus two, minus eight, plus k cap, minus eight, which would be equal to sixteen i cap plus ten j cap minus eight k cap, and the units of torque are newton meter. Now, if we compare the options, we can clearly see that among the given options, option number two is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number three. Question number three says the moment of inertia of a uniform cylinder about an axis is five by two m r square. The value of radius of gyration of the cylinder about this axis will be. It is given that m and r are mass and radius of the cylinder. Dear students, whenever the moment of inertia can be written to be equal to m k square, where m is the total mass of the system, then here k is called as radius of gyration now dear students if we compare the value of mk square with the given moment of inertia that is 5 by 2 mr square we can easily see that here k would be equal to root 5 by 2 into r and hence the radius of gyration is equal to root 5 by 2r which means that option number 1 of this question is the correct answer now let us proceed to the next question question number 4 says The instantaneous angular position of a point on a rotating wheel is given by the equation theta is equal to 2t cube minus 9t square where theta is in radians and t is in seconds. The angular velocity of wheel when torque on the wheel becomes zero will be. Dear students, before proceeding with this question, let us first appreciate this fact that when the torque on the wheel would be zero. its angular acceleration would be zero we can make this conclusion from the equation 
that torque is equal to I alpha. So therefore, if torque is equal to 0, alpha is to be 0 as well. Now, dear students, the angular velocity omega can be written to be equal to the differentiation of the theta or the angular position. On differentiating the given expression of theta, we get omega to be equal to 60 square minus 80 into. Now, dear students, we can also find out alpha, which would be equal to the differentiation of omega. So, we have to differentiate this particular expression and the differentiation of this would be 20 minus 18. First of all, let us find out the time at which the angular acceleration would be 0 because it is this time only when the torque on the body would be 0 as well. So, therefore, dear students, if alpha is equal to 0, it means that 20 minus 18 would be 0 or we can write that t would be equal to 18 by 12. We can simplify it and write that t would be equal to 3 by 2 seconds. Now, dear students, we have to find out the angular velocity of the wheel at this time. So, we can substitute the value of t in this expression and therefore omega would be equal to 6 into 3 by 2 square minus 18 into 3 by 2. On solving, we get the value of omega to be equal to minus 13.5 radians per second. And hence, the correct answer for this question turns out to be option number 4. Now, let us proceed to the question number 5. Question number 5 says, the moment of inertia of a uniform solid sphere as shown in the figure is maximum about the axis. So, herein, total 5 axes are given and we can see them in the figure. We have to decide that about which axis the moment of inertia would be maximum. Dear students, we must know that the moment of inertia is minimum about an axis which passes through the center of mass. This is valid if we are comparing the axes which are parallel to each other. Dear students, therefore, the axis which is farthest away from the center of mass would have the largest moment of inertia. We can easily see that the axis 3 is the axis which is at a maximum distance from the center of mass, which means that the moment of inertia about axis 3 would be largest in magnitude. And hence, option number 3 of this question is the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 6. 